probably one of the few projects, or possibly the only project that we've done so far, that we've actually had players on um, discrete levels, on different levels throughout the building. Most of the time we work with players just on one plane, a single plane. I think there's something about the concept of a public library um, that, that correlates really closely to what supercritical mass is all about. Um, the idea of having a big open building in the middle of, of Birmingham where people can come uh, more or less at all hours, they can come and meet people, they can jump online and heaven forbid actually read a book. Uh, um, it's, it's just a way of bringing people together uh, within a, a single space. I think that's kind of kind of what supercritical mass is all about, bringing people together, um, working with these publicly available spaces and having a very democratic way of uh, bringing people together in this way. We started this project um, probably about five years ago now. It sort of was born out of a, a creative need um, of mine to get out of flute world. I'm, I'm a bit of a, I'm a flute player and uh, just getting, breaking out of that stereotype of, of what a flute does, what a flute can sound like. Um, and then together with Julian, um, who was feeling a, a, possibly a similar restriction in, in his creative output as a composer and um, a sound artist as well. And combining forces and uh, drawing together around 80 flute players in a big railway shed in Sydney and just creating um, something, a, a magical sound that's not based on written down music, that's not based on a hierarchy of, of performers, that's not based on being conducted or, or directed in any way. I think all of us are really fascinated by, by different spaces. I've always thought if I wasn't a composer and a sound artist, I'd love to be designing buildings, and uh, that's why it's very exciting to be in a space like this. Um, there's something about the way that sound travels and the way sound always exceeds itself. Um, it's a kind of a concept. You make a sound somewhere and it always goes somewhere else. Uh, if you make a sound in part of a room, someone else is always going to hear it. It's, it's a very um, porous and sort of substance that permeates everything, all the available air around you. We, we bring them together, um, we have several workshops and rehearsals and we work out what they can do, we work out what the space does and uh, it kind of emerges quite um, organically out of that. Everyone actually plays exactly the same material. We don't have parts for different instruments or parts for different skill levels. Everyone gets the exact same information and so it starts very, uh, very together and as people's skill levels start to come into play, it starts to create the complex web of sound that I guess characterizes our performances. We used this central uh, book rotunda and we figured that uh, a wind instrument meant it would spread through the building quite nicely. There's also, I guess, this idea of this book rotunda almost being like a giant windpipe within the building and if we could flood that with breath and with, with sounding air um, it was almost like breathing the building into life.